Hey guys, welcome back. Out at the Pontiac show in Murfreesboro, Tennessee today, just snuck out on a Friday to have a little look. And what's really cool, there's a lot of nice cars here. This one is an absolute standout in my opinion. It is a 59 Bonneville truck, or a ute as we call them in New Zealand and Aussie. So yeah, some of you that know the, these era will know that this is no such car, they never made this. Uh, I've just, just speaking with the gentleman who owns it, uh, he did it all himself. Yeah, he's a car guy from way, way back. Uh, he's done it all himself. They took a Pontiac 59 Bonneville wagon, or Catalina wagon, sorry. Cut the roof off it. They got uh, all this. Everything here is El Camino from a 59. All the top rail here, this is all 59 El Camino. So he's welded up the back doors, grafted the bed rails on and the roof. So a lot of the chrome stainless trim you're seeing is El Camino. And obviously a lot of it is the Pontiac. While we're down here, check these wheels out. For all money, these look like eight lug Pontiac real deal wheels, and they're not. The owner actually made these from scratch. They're 17s. Uh, he's this, the whole finned part here, is actually a hubcap. Uh, it's held on with two of the lugs. Uh, he hand, had the, all these all these fins handmade. Uh, you know, his attention to detail. It's just second to none. He's this is this is a car that you know has been built at home by a, a private individual, and this this will run and hang with you know the builds from the top guys in the industry. Uh, he took the uh, the the original Pontiac uh, tailgate, the wagon tailgate, shaved the top of it off where the window came up. He's replaced you know with the with the El Camino top molding here. He had this molding here. That was machine, that's a billet piece that he had made up specially and then chromed. Uh, now he liked, he liked the Bonneville tail lights. Now the, the Catalina had a little tail light that was this big. It just finished before the tailgate. So it just, it just finished here. So he's added all this to the original tailgate. This was never here. He's got Bonneville tail lights grafted this metalwork support that the lens fits into, into the Catalina tailgate. And it looked just, I didn't know that. Like, that's how good it is. It's not like you can tell where he's done things. He's just done it, like, superbly. Listen, and I'll split that in behind when we were talking about the outside of it. So all this has been hand fabricated. Obviously, it was beat up from being on, on an old wagon, uh, and it, you know had would have had upholstery on it back in the day. But he's made it like a truck tailgate. Again, the attention to detail. All the little rubber seals he's got here. I'm guessing these are El Camino ones, uh, but everything's chrome. All these panels, the owners had to make from scratch. I believe some of this was an original El Camino, but he's he's changed it up. But just look at the gaps, like everything is, like it's not something that's been thrown together. Uh, you know, the gaps right around the inside of the bed. I mean, one thing is, I don't think it'll ever carry anything. I think he's going to throw an engine in the back of this. It's special. He's got, this is, uh, how well you can film that but that's a little bit of a history of how he went through and did this car so you can see the roof coming off the the wagon we've got the el camino what's left of an el camino that's how it became a, a ute or a truck uh, you can see he's had to add that's where the door used to go and uh, looks like it got dipped it looks like it got acid dip which is uh, you know it gives you a nice clean workspace to keep working so, yeah. moving to the interior he really did leave no stone unturned
It's got 62 Pontiac seats in it that he did with the, you know, that the era correct upholstery. It's all leather too. Uh, even stuff he's changed. You know, added the little Bonneville uh, nameplate in there. Uh, it used to have just Pontiac across here in this chrome section here. He's ground all that smooth and re-chromed it. Uh, he is is really nothing untouched. He's got a great looks like an original steering wheel, right? It's not. It's the original middle. He's taken half the horn rim off uh, and actually grafted in a smaller diameter ring on it. So he's got a nice modern sized steering wheel and it looks like it came off a 59 Pontiac. Screams like the attention to detail. It is just there's nothing. I'm not seeing anything, and I can say, "Oh, it's a shame they didn't do this," or "It's a shame they didn't just tidy that up." There is none of those points in this car. It, it is. It is. Really, I would say as good as about as good as it gets. I mean, if you're super critical, you could probably find something. You know, the Riddler judges would probably be able to find something wrong with it. But I'll tell you what, I yeah, I'd be proud to park this in my garage, and it'd be hard not to say I did it in this lie because <laughs> it's it's this is as good as I you know anything I can do. Uh, this guy should be super proud of it. to have a look at but I just wanted to bring you this one I just haven't seen anything like it it's, it's very original as in the concept is original obviously it's not an original car but it's original concept and I just love the idea um, so yeah that's it man it's hot out here we're going inside and get a cold drink so we'll see you on the next go round